In this video, I will show you what files, folders and programs get deleted when you reset your Windows 10. So let's get started. First, I will show you my desktop and you can see I got a video there. So let's go through each folder and see what we got before resetting. This is my documents folders. Here is my download folders. I got this many files. Videos folder. My music folder. I paste this same video in every folder to trace it before and after resetting. Pictures folder. Now let's check directly what we got inside C drive. Let's go to users. Then go to your username. And here are all the files and folders that are saved. For example, if you go to documents, I've got so many other things saved here. I go to Adobe. I go to this Premium Pro and you can see how many folders and files I got saved in here. I don't want to bore you by going through each and every folder, but just as a reminder, I will recommend you to back up all these files and folders into another drive or an external hard disk because after resetting Windows with remove everything option, all your files and folders and programs would be deleted from your C drive or the drive where Windows is installed. I also would show you what happens to OneDrive as one of my viewers have asked me. Here I created a folder called YouTube videos. Inside this folder I got three videos and if you check the symbol beneath the videos it's a green tick mark that means they are uploaded and are synced with OneDrive. Also to make sure that everything is synced, I have logged in into my OneDrive from a browser and checked whether, for example, these three videos are also accessible from my online OneDrive account. It is also important to mention that your OneDrive folder could be in your C drive or it also could be in any of your other drives. This is important because Windows is installed in your C drive. So when you reset your Windows, it will remove all the files and folders that are downloaded in the OneDrive folder. Obviously, if all your files and folders in OneDrive folder are already in the cloud, after resetting, it would be downloaded and it would be restored into your OneDrive folder. However, it would be easier if you change the location of your OneDrive folder to another drive so that after resetting your Windows, you could use that new location so that Windows wouldn't need to download all these files again. Now it's time to reset Windows 10. First click on Start, then click on settings here we need to click on system first we need to go to the power and sleep for the screen we need to change it from 10 minutes to never and also for the pc to never because we don't want our computer to sleep when we are resetting now click back on settings and now we need to go to update and security now select recovery and we need to select get started on the reset this PC. Here we got two options. One is keep my files which as it says here it removes apps and settings but keeps your personal files. If your computer is really slow and you can easily back up everything that's there in your C drive or the drive where your Windows is installed. I will recommend you to choose the option to remove everything. By the end of this video, you would know exactly what would be removed after resetting your Windows. If you want to learn what would happen if you choose keep my files, please follow the link in the description. So let's continue by selecting remove everything. Windows gives us additional settings that we could change. To change them, you should select change settings. One is data erasure, which means it will remove only the files, which is quicker but less secure. 
The other option is Data Drives, which means remove all files only from the drive where Windows is installed. I leave these options as they are, so just click Confirm. Now we can select Next, and from now on, Windows would get resetted. Just another reminder of what resetting will do. It will remove all the personal files and user accounts on this PC. It will remove any changes made to settings, remove all apps and programs. Once you're read and you're happy, we are ready to reset. So after pressing reset, you need to leave your computer for few hours. I will go quickly through these settings. Select the language, then select yes. Select your country and then click on yes. Select your keyboard layout and then click on yes. Click on skip if you don't want to add another keyboard layout. Select your network, enter your password and then click on next. If you're happy with Windows 10 license agreement, click on accept. Unfortunately, Windows forces everyone to create a Microsoft account. After setting up Windows 10, you could always go and remove your Microsoft account and use a local account to sign in instead. So for now, enter an email and then click on next. Enter your password. Now we need to create a pin, so click on create pin. Enter pin and then click on OK. We can skip this for now. Here you could choose if you want OneDrive to back up all your files in documents, in pictures, on your desktop to OneDrive or not. For now, I just select the default option and click on next. I select no thanks. I decline this. I select no. I click on accept. I select no. I click on accept. I select send required diagnostic data and then I click on accept. I select no and then I click on accept. I select no. I select no. We have successfully resetted Windows 10. A couple of things to notice. We got Microsoft Edge shortcut on our desktop. The recycling bin is empty. If you click on it, and you can see there is nothing in it. We get default Microsoft apps pinned on our taskbar. And we got OneDrive also installed and running. If you click on start, these are the apps that Windows would install after resetting. Obviously, I have already installed a few apps to be able to record this video. Now let's select File Explorer, select this PC, Local C Drive where Windows is installed, we got 200 GBs free out of 225 GBs. That means only 25 GBs is used for installing Windows. It is clear that resetting Windows has removed all the personal files and folders from C Drive as well as previously installed programs. However, if you look at local disk D drive and E drive, the amount of free space is same as what it was before resetting Windows. That means the only drive that's affected is the C drive. So if you want to sell your computer or your laptop, you would also need to manually format your D and E drive or any other drives that you got. Obviously, make sure you got a backup of those files and folders from these drives before formatting them. Now, if you would go to Documents, you will see it is empty. If you go to Downloads, it's empty. If you go to Music, it's empty. Pictures, it's empty. It just got three folders, but there's nothing there. And videos, also empty. So, let's select OneDrive. You can see that all the folders are still there, but they are not yet downloaded into your computer. Once you open a file or folder, Windows would automatically then download those files or folders into your computer and then it would change the symbol 
from the cloud to a tick mark. But if you had your OneDrive saved in another drive, for example, D or E drive, not your C drive, and then when setting up OneDrive, all those files and folders that were already downloaded before wouldn't need to be downloaded again because you got a physical copy of them on your computer. In summary, by resetting Windows by choosing the option to remove everything, Windows would remove all your files from your C drive as well as it would remove all the programs, but it would leave the other drives intact.